a few months ago, we made a video here about Ghana partnering with seven industry players on a new shared infrastructure to deliver affordable nationwide 5G mobile broadband services across the beautiful country. One of the seven companies belongs to Indian's richest man, Mukesh Ambani, who also owns Jio, a mobile network which is the most popular network in India due to its cheap prices and different internet packages. Ghana is well positioned for 5G implementation due to a robust regulatory framework, existing infrastructure, market demand, and government support. Our proactive approach and commitment to innovation has positioned us as a leader in digital transformation in Africa. Countries like Malaysia, Germany, and the United States have shown success with similar shared infrastructure models. Malaysia's Nas Digital National Behad, DMB, has expanded 5G coverage, aiming to cover 50% of rural areas by mid-2024. Germany promotes infrastructure sharing for efficient resource use. The US encourages innovation and reduces costs through initiatives like open radio access networks, open run. The shared network infrastructure model aims to reduce investment pressures on incumbent MNOs while delivering best-in-class 5G services to all consumers. By increasing speeds and network capacity, 5G will open up opportunities for greater bandwidth, enabling significant data transmission compared to 4G LTE. This will drive economic growth, foster innovation, create new jobs, and open new business opportunities in various sectors. This initiative is a significant step towards achieving a fully di digitalized Ghana by 2030. I'd like to acknowledge our key partners here. Nokia is providing, and it's a Finnish company. It's a company based in F Finland. It is providing a state-of-the-art radio access network and has committed to set up its first technology innovation lab in Accra, offering career opportunities for engineering graduates in the technology sector and creating 5G use cases for the continent. Another partner, Tech Mahindra, a global managed services company and the prime contractor for the cloud native core network from Microsoft will build a cloud native core network powered by leading equipment OEM platforms to support the deployment of network infrastructure and associated services. This cutting edge technology will ensure that our network is robust, scalable, and capable of supporting future innovations. Tech Mahindra will also set up its first global software delivery center in Ghana, enabling our youth to acquire cutting-edge skills and lead in AI, robotics, machine learning, and automation. Radisys, a geo-platform company, is providing open radio access network, open run, to enable disaggregated networks for 4G and 5G mobile and fixed wireless access. Radisys also brings affordable 4G and 5G devices along with digital platforms and applications, fostering sustainable and inclusive development. This collaboration with NGIC is its first venture in Africa and hopefully will be the first of many. Its partner company, Reliance Geo, set up barely eight years ago is currently the largest mobile network operator in the world with 477 million subscribers. We hope a little bit of their magic will rub off on us in Ghana and through NGIC, the rest of Africa. A lot of interest is being shown in NGIC in the global world of technology, as this model is the first of its kind in Africa. We hope it will be replicated in other parts of the continent, showcasing that it is possible, with Ghana leading the way as the digital black star of Africa. 
Now, the 5G era is here because starting November 1st, 2024, Ghana is set to roll out its 5G service, making a major leap in the country's digital transformation. The Minister of Communication and Digitalization, Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufo, announced that all preparations are completed for the 5G service to begin. Speaking on Peace FM's Kokroko show, she highlighted that the necessary infrastructure has been put in place and the government is working with multiple partners to deliver high-speed, reliable internet across the country. In fact, the introduction of 5G in Ghana will have a huge impact. It's not just about faster internet, it's about transforming key sectors like healthcare, education, and finance. With 5G, students can attend virtual classrooms with smoother, more interactive online learning. And digital payments and financial services will become faster and more secure even in remote areas. Ghana is joining a growing list of African nations rolling out 5G. South Africa and Nigeria have already launched their network and Kenya is not far behind. Globally, countries like the US, South Korea and China are already seeing the transformative effect of 5G. Faster communication, smart cities and more efficient industries. By investing in 5G, Ghana isn't just keeping up. Is setting the stage to lead in Africans' digital revolution. So, mark your calendars. From November 1st, 2024, Ghana will step into the future with 5G, opening doors to a faster, more connected world. But we pray it becomes a nationwide as they've promised. We don't want a situation where one or two regions will be enjoying it. If you found this video informative, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. I'm Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. Makrao.